So if we have something that's named specifically apocrine sweat glands, do we have another type of sweat gland? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the other type? Eccrine. So we have now eccrine sweat glands, which are the common ones, also called sudoriferous glands, and we have the apocrine sweat glands, and there is a difference between them. Eccrine or sudoriferous glands, they are the ones that they start working as soon as we are born. And they are the ones that release this regular sweat, right? That help us to cool down. So since we are born, we have all these eccrine glands working. Eccrine sweat glands. But then we have a special type of sweat glands that are named apocrine sweat glands. And the apocrine sweat glands, they are sweat glands that produce a thick sweat. Because that sweat has lots of good stuff that bacteria eats. So what happens is that when we reach puberty, we have the apocrine sweat glands producing this good thick sweat. And this sweat is basically dumped into the hair. And then it's on the surface of the body where we have hair. And there you find very hungry bacteria that decide to metabolize everything that is in this thick sweat. Now, the problem is that the result of this bacteria feast is very smelly. 